And hello to our fans online. I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Monday, October 28th. Dr. Conrad Murray is released from Los Angeles jail. He served two years of a four-year sentence in the death of Michael Jackson. He's hoping to have his license reinstated so he can return to practicing medicine. Now, Jackson's family is expressing outrage. There are major new developments this morning in the growing spy scandal involving U.S. allies. For the first time, the government reveals that it monitored some 35 world leaders, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Perhaps even more shocking is that President Obama was kept in the dark about all this for five years. An NSA spokeswoman said it takes orders from something called the National Intelligence Priorities Framework, not the president. Once the president found out about the spying on Merkel, and other European leaders, he did put a stop to it. Well, there could be a new gold rush brewing in Colorado Springs. A man claims he tossed half a million dollars in gold into a dumpster, so his wife could not have it during their divorce proceedings. And bank records are backing him up. He did indeed convert the money to gold coins and bars. Now, whether he really did throw it away is not certain. That man is in jail until his next court hearing, by the way. And in the spirit of the season, we go to Hollywood and plenty of other places as well. Groups of people getting together and doing the Thriller Dance, the title track from Jackson's landmark album, Guess What? Get ready to feel old. That album, Thriller, turns 30 years old this year. Thousands and thousands of folks got together to do the Thriller Dance in dozens of countries. Some of the events were charity fundraisers, which, of course, is always nice to see. That is one of those timeless songs and videos it always will be around. I don't feel old. I'm almost as old as that album. R <clears throat> I'm Rob Nelson. And I'm Diana Perez, and eternally 29. <laughs> That's a lie, America. <laughs> this is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.